and this is something that Evertonians are not going to like uh, to hear this morning. Everton, are they on course indeed to become the first Premier League side to be deducted points for breaching FFP rules? Now, not only are they languishing in the danger area in the Premier League right now, Premier League rules state that clubs are only permitted to make maximum losses of £105 over a three-year period. Now, Everton recorded losses of over £260 million between the periods of 2017 and 2020. Simon, you're across this, I know. Now... It's also being reported, and this is even worse news, if that is possible, they're set to show a loss of another £100 million in the 2020-2021 accounts. Yeah. This is not looking good, is it, for Everton? No. I mean, obviously, the, um, the financial fair play rules are there. No one's really been caught by them yet. They've all been sophisticated enough to find their ways around it um, and to restructure their finances to include things like women's football teams and academy developments and so on and so forth. So they all now know what they've got to do and how to do it. Yeah. Everton are in a slightly difficult position. I think that with the £260 million worth of losses that they've posted for the three-year period up to 20, I think there's about 160 odd million worth of allowable adjustments for COVID um, restrictions that are uh, right-backs for infrastructure developments will bring them under, just under, the £105 million up until the 1920, 1920 season. The next year's accounts are due to be filed now, and you're right... They are likely to be another hundred million worth of losses. They'll be allowed. These are operating losses, so there'll be allowable adjustments. There'll be some COVID uh, interjections for the season um, that's just gone, um, but they still will be above the hundred. It's very difficult to see how they're not going to be above the hundred and five million. Now, where that falls into the territory of sanctioning, no Premier League club has ever been sanctioned in that way before. I think it's going to be very difficult for the Premier League not to sanction Everton. But I very much doubt they're sanctioned in this season. Ah, I right. think with the processes that will involve that Everton will submit their accounts, uh, then they will be looked at by the Premier League, who will immediately talk, turn towards sanctioning. Everton will appeal it. It'll go back into the long grass. And you'll have a situation if Everton were to be surviving in the Premier League this year and then relegated by a point deduction that the Premier League would fall into the territory of the EFL had to do last year, which has put together a fixture list that included Derby for one set of fixtures and Reading... Uh, uh, for another set of fixtures and Wickham for another set of fixtures being relegated as a result of their behaviour. Right. So I think it's a very difficult argument to suggest that Everton aren't going to get sanctioned at some point. If you want me to put money on it, I would be amazed they get sanctioned this season. I think if they're going to get sanctioned, which is difficult to see how they don't, then they're going to be sanctioned at the beginning of the 22-23 season if they're in the Premier League. So they're looking at starting next season, you would think. If they're in the Premier League. If they're in the Premier League Mm -hmm. with a minus... Listen, oh, oh, they've, got, they've got 260 million worth of losses. How the, for the financial fair play rolls, it's on a three-week, uh, it's on a three-year cycle. So if you've lost 100 million over three years, right, the next year becomes the third year. If you make 90 million that year, then your losses for that three-year period are 10 million. Do you follow me? Got you. So they've got 260 million worth of losses from 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20. They've probably got around about 160 million worth of allowable adjustments, which will bring their losses down for that three-year period, 17, 18. 18, 19, 19, 20 to 100 million. They're inside financial fair play. Then you wallop on 2021 accounts, which means you're now going from 18, 19, 19, 20 to 2021 accounts. They'll be at 200 million worth of losses. There'll be 100 million outside of the financial fair play governance. It's difficult to see however much, however clever they want to be with their accountancy, yeah, yeah. however sophisticated yeah. they want to make adjustments yeah. and allowables, that they're not going to be over the 105 but million. But Simon, here's the thing. Not that I want Everton to go down. But by no stretch of the imagination do I want that to happen. Say, say what you say is right. And I've no reason to doubt you. And they survive and it goes into next season. Yeah. If Burnley or somebody else just goes down and Everton survive, will Burnley not come back well, next season and you, say, well, hang on, if you'd not hit them with an immediate points deduction, which would have put them down, we would have still been in the Premier League. Well, the, the Premier League will look at it and say, very simply, he, these are the rules you signed up to, which is sanctions are put in place and appeals are able to be put, put into, into process. If Everton can muster, and they will muster, something that vaguely cobbles together as a plausible appeal, then the moment the appeal is put in place, it kicks it back into the long grass, and then when the appeal is determined, and if it goes against them, which is difficult to see how it wouldn't, yeah. then and only yeah, then the do you sanction them. You're now in a situation where the season was started, you're 25, 26, 27 games into a season, and the jeopardy and the, and the challenges of sanctioning somebody in real time 
is going to compromise the integrity of the competition. Now, your say, well, it compromises the integrity of the competition by the very nature of the fact Everton have rigged the system by breaching financial fair play and not submitting their accounts. But people don't submit their accounts until nine months after the financial year end. The financial year end is either May or June. So the moment you start a season, you're already compromising the integrity of that particular season if you've breached financial fair play and you know it, because Everton will know it. They will do their management accounts. We all know our management accounts are done on a monthly basis. We have a running total of where we're going towards. And when you file your accounts, they become more auditable and more audited. So I don't see how Everton can possibly... People will say, well, how did they buy Patterson in January if they knew they were breaching financial fair play? Well, they sold Luca Dean. So Luca Dean would have given them a profit of about 15, 16 million quid because they sold him for 25 million quid to Aston Villa. He'd have been on their books for 8 million quid. They brought the profit into this year's financials and this year's financials have got no relation to last year's. Do you, do you follow yeah, what sure, I'm saying? Sure, So yeah. we're all, there's always a drag right. because of the timing of, a, of a financial accounts. But it's very difficult to see how Everton aren't going to be sanctioned and it's very difficult to see how there isn't going to be a bun fight. But also the Premier League is going to round itself around a situation where they cannot allow this league to look like a banana republic. It can't look like what happened to the EFL last That's year. That's right. Which is yeah. a su- you know, supplementing Reading or Wickham or Derby into the fixture this next year, depending yeah. upon who wins an appeal. Yeah. It will simply be, these are the rules, someone's getting sanctioned, and they'll get sanctioned when the due process is followed. But it's difficult to see how Everton get out of this. This goes to the heart of how this football club's being run. Mm. This goes to the heart of the argument I made the other day about the introduction of the Abramoviches and people of that nature which are driving up the objective to be able to win at all costs without looking at governance. So they're looking at points deduction but just not yet. It's difficult to see how they can't be. Okay. How can they not be? They're going to breach financial fair play. No two ways about it. They are going to breach financial fair play. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.